Ben Israel community is unique and different from the rest of the world jury with the fact that once they arrived in India with this very difficult kind of a shipwreck and had lost all their religious books, their religious practices were based on only three things, Shabbat, Kashrut and Brit Mila. They kept Kashrut completely, they kept Shabbat to the large extent possible and they were continuing the Brit Mila. There was no contact between the Ben Israels who landed in here with the shipwreck with the world jury. They lost contact for centuries. My name is Soshana Benjamin Vaskar. Someone apna rehta hai, wohi abhi apne Jews jada nahi hai. There are, as it is, very few Jews here, but there are quite a number of Hindus. We live as we are, they live as they are, and we can't follow their practices, but we live together. Thoda bhot mein is jana to padta hi hai na. We do go for their functions when they have them. They come for our functions, so it is also our obligation to go for their functions. Yet we do not participate in it if it is contradictory to our religion, but we do show our presence where we come. My name is Ilan Benjamin Vaskar. My favorite game is cricket. I like to come to the synagogue because I love to pray. I love to put money in the charity box and to light memorial candles. My name is Jacob. My father's name is Eliza. And surname is Dandekar. It is the general feeling that they hold towards God that they show empathy and respect towards us. Even on Simcha Torah, to decorate the Sukha, we receive fruits from them. Ultimately, it is an act to God. If we receive an invitation, we do go for their functions. The relations are, the relations are good. But in the village of Pain, which is around 30 kilometers from here, there is a bit of crossing. Means, like once when I went, to cut some goats for a festival. So they asked me, am I Yehudi? And I said, yes. Then they told me, then we don't have goats for you. Please go back. David Robin Waskar. The Jews that were there before, what work would they do? On each ghani that they call the oil producing machine, there used to be a bull that did the rotating. And they used to take it in a sort of a box and take it to sell. Only when the Cochin Jews got the news about this community, they even not were called Jews. David Rahabi, one of the rabbis from Cochin, came to Bombay and observed these people and particularly followed the women when they went to the bazaars, to the markets to buy fish. And he observed that they did not buy any meat. They only bought fish which had fins and scales. That means they were very particular about keeping kashrut. And when he followed them to the home, they saw that they were not mixing that with any milk. They had some vessels which were separate. And so those observations caught his attention and he started to give them teachings on the religious aspects. And these community members picked up and they became more observant. And that's how their revival started to take place. Thereafter, the Baghdadi community came in the early 19th century from Baghdad. And 
as we all know, they also came from a very difficult situation due, during the Daud Pasha's rule, which was very difficult rule. So they escaped from there. I am the caretaker for Magen David Synagogue. I am one of the Iraqi Jews. My father and mother, they were from Baghdad. I was born over there. I live in Bombay now for several years. I look after the Magen David Synagogue. And the leader of that community, one of the members was David Sassoon. And he came actually escaping the degree of Daud Pasha to hang him. He was told, go to India and you will make fortune. And it so happened that he was called the Rothschild of the East. He established several businesses and was very close to the British. And he gave a lot of encouragement to religious aspects of the community, established synagogues, established community centers, all that happened in 19th and 20th century beginning. So that was the second revival for the Ben Israel community as well. Recently, we have seen some marriages taking place between the Baghdadi and the Ben Israel Jews. Baghdad, Ben Israel and Cochini Jews. A cousin of mine got married to a Cochin Jew. So there is some interaction, but largely the Ben Israels are now predominant in the community. Out of the 5,000 Jews, all over India, more than 4,700 are the Ben Israel Jews. 250 are the Baghdadi Jews and remaining 50 are the Cochini Jews. My name is Moshe Yosef Rashpurkar. They are at Kurla in Bombay city. There was uh, no uh, discrimination. There was no discrimination. All children were treated alike because the municipal school is meant for children from all castes and communities. Yeah, I had a Hindu friends, I had a Muslim friends, as well as Jewish friends. Formerly we used to play mostly cricket, then Indian games. Our tendency was to say that we are Indian first and Jews afterwards. There was one association known as Bombay Zionist Association and I was a member of that association. They used to conduct several lectures in synagogues, uh, school halls and I used to go for the lectures. There were different opinions but majority were for the Zionism. Uh, we are requesting our community members from Kurla and nearby places to come, on, to, come to payroll on Saturdays and we do get, I am happy to say that we do get Minyan on first Saturday of English calendar month. My name is Yair Gerard. Even though we lived in India, we didn't follow, so we didn't really traditionally fall into the Hindu patterns of say probably caste system or family values. So even though certain norms we had to grow up as being Indian, but we still followed our identity of running our families the way we felt was right. So if it came to education, so they like we gave our girls equality as much as we gave the male child. So that was again different from the Hindu setup. Probably that was uh, Jewish values. Probably our uh, way back then, our proximity or our working conditions with uh, the British, with which our grandparents and great grandparents worked it worked with, and then the education. Probably that made us different. Probably not following the very typical trend of the traditional Hindu setup. And there were things like probably the mobile crashes. What I know of, like an Indian Jewish woman started this mobile crash for the children on the construction sites years ago. She started it off from a little van and then now it's a large movement. So it uh, reached out to everybody, but it was her creation. Many people are, are they Indian, are they Jewish? But no, I'm very sure who I am. And I'm very comfortable in whatever setup I go in, in whichever Jewish community I am in. I know I'm Indian. For years we have lived in India, so I have certain values and my growth has been with an Indian ethics and values, but I very strongly adapt to my uh, Jewish identity and I think my name keeps that thing alive in me all the time is Yael. My name is Nathaniel Girard. I see myself as a Jew. 
living in India with a strong foundation in India. Since it's important to keep the heritage alive, keep our synagogues running, I think there's a need for, to bring in the Jewish youth into a direct link with the main center of Jewish life, that is synagogue. I think the way arranged marriages happen, it increases the probability and chances of a boy and a girl meeting. Because it's not only you who is looking out, but it's also your father, your mother, your brothers, sisters, your uncles, aunts, and all your extended family, and the so-called matchmakers in the community who want to make a certain union happen. The Ben Israels chose to live near Muslim neighborhoods. Reason was very obvious that they did not want to disturb the sentiments of the Hindu community as Jewish people ate kosher meat. Hindus don't even touch meat. But we also eat the local Hindu food which is called Purim Poli which they make it exactly on the Purim day for their festival called Holi. Now that adaptation is to express, express to them our tolerance, our acceptance of their culture into our culture. But we did not encourage our children to marry their children. One or two marriages here and there may have taken place, but in principle, the Jewish value system inside the home was very dominant. And outside the home, there was a tolerance and acceptance of other cultures. Well, I feel that uh, the Indian society as a whole, which Muslims are part of, are very tolerant towards Jews uh, in India. Because they perceive Jews to be Indians first, you see. The Ben Israel Jews were given prominent positions in the British Army. They were majors, lieutenant colonels, colonels, also generals in the British Army. Why? The Jews had, first of all, little foreign origin. They were not local, local. British found that as an advantage to control the local. Because Ben Israel's understood the local situation as well as they had characteristics of being foreign. So the Jewish people flourished during the British Raj. Naturally, there was certain loyalty. And in fact, the first Ben Israel synagogue was built by one of the members of the Ben Israel community who worked for the British Army. Majority were comfortable with the British Raj because that's where they, their jobs were. There was a certain amount of uh, people who had the uh, interest in the freedom movement. So they were supporting that. In 1948, 14 youth from the Ben Israel community left for Israel with a dream to settle and build a new nation. Some of them continued to remain there and many of them, their dream was shattered. But they didn't realize that the Holy Land was nothing but rocks, no roads, villages, and they decided to return back. They wrote to the then Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, who allowed them to come back. So that was the Zionism's initial movements. Currently, out of India is largely in Israel, and they number almost 100,000. Then we have some number of few hundred in Australia, in Europe, in North America and other parts of the world.